Good morning. You don't mind, do you? Someone stole my globe this morning. Can you believe that? That wasn't you, was it, Victor? I had nothing to do with that article. Alan, it certainly was not my intention to... What, you didn't talk to her? No, no, I, I spoke to her, but nothing I said is in there. Is that a bald spot in there? It's the lighting. Well, somebody talked to her. I like Alan Fink. Shut up, Richard. Sorry, sorry, look. We all know what the press can be like. They did a job on us. We can't take this on. Victor's not this stupid, are you, Victor? Okay, let's move on. As long as they spell your name right, right? Oh, no, look, they didn't. What? Spell the name right. Look at that. See that? Two L's and Alan right there. Got it wrong. Okay. Richard, I understand you spoke to Dingle. Yeah. Yes, yes, I did. Well, he's, yes, yeah. Okay, I hope you don't mind, but I asked Victor to first. Well, I'd like him to do the follow-up. Right. Victor, I think Dingle has a movie in him, so I'd like you to go to Knee Guy Lily Tiff. When? Veronica has the arrangements. Right. Uh, you leave for Edmonton this afternoon, where you have a three-hour holdover, and then you fly four hours north. Four hours north? Yes. Of Edmonton? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's up there. Where you'll meet Dingle, and then you fly out in a private plane. Uh, north. You know, Alan, I am kind of tied up here on set and with the new plans. No, 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 no. No, I thought this through. It's the only solution. Sure. They're good seats. In front of the plane. Good. Now, Victor, who do you think spoke to this nice lady at the Globe, huh? Lisa. 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 Okay. Walk with me. I have Alan Thick on line two. Get rid of him. I try. Try harder. Well, remind me never to get on your bad side. Why is that? Dinner? I don't think so. Lunch? Nah. Hey, 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 what, what's wrong? Oh, they fired me. What? And Victor just sat there. I thought uh, you and Victor were... We were. <sighs> Look, Richard, um, I'm really glad that you understand. I just can't get into a relationship right now, you know? And even if I did, it wouldn't be with... with anyone that I work with. We don't really work together anymore. Yeah, I know that. But I mean, just this morning, you know, Victor and I were together. And now, well, I'm just glad to be gone. If, if there's anything I can do to help you out. Uh, actually, uh, can I ask you a favor? Sure. Remember those projects I mentioned? Uh, the puppet show and the muffler shop? Mm -hmm. If you've passed on them, I could pick up the options and maybe shop them around. It would really help me get started. I'd love to, but you asked me to show them to Alan, so I did, and he's really hot for them, so we're renewing the options. They're gonna remain the property of Pyramid. There's nothing I can do, sorry. Oh. Anything else? Oh, you could do the monkey thing. What now? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not as good with your clothes on. Goodbye, Richard. And I uh, remember you promised. Scout's honor. <laughs> no one can know about this. I think that went well. They shot a movie one in my hometown. 
everybody was in it for miles around out at the speedway some kind of heaviest thing well I ain't no movie star but I can get behind anything yeah I can get behind anything 